Ask yourself a question. Do you know any programmers personally? If you aren't in the field yourself or work with someone in the field, I'm guessing no. We've asked this question to a number of programmers themselves and the same answer came up. Programming is something that's taken so much for granted that some people don't even know what it means to program something. This week on Future 5, we talk about 5 of the language innovations that change the way we program technology. This is Future 5. Number 1. The first program. Remember those times when you had to manually write down and punch out code onto a machine in order to write your programs? Yes, people actually had to do this. Depending on your definition of a program, the first experiments done with such was in 1842. Translating the memoir of mathematician Luigi Menabrea and Charles Babbage's newest proposed machine, the analytical engine. Ada Lovelace appended a set of notes which specified in complete detail a method of calculating Bernoulli numbers with the analytical engine. This may not be what you expect to be the first programming language, but regardless, many historians agree upon its authenticity. Number 2. Website developers. Not very long ago, creating a website was a big deal. You usually got together with a company or personal programmer and developed an amazing site based on what your vision was. This would take the programmer quite some time and specialized skill in HTML. Around 10 years ago, it was very common to see someone paid thousands for this job and the people doing it made a great living. In recent times and throughout these last 10 years, more and more software and online creation tools have been hitting the market. With tools like these, anyone with some time and an idea of what they want can create an amazing looking website with just dragging and dropping tools. Hell, even we made our website that way. Check it out. It's almost unheard of in today's time to hear of someone manually coding a website. Number 3. The first modern languages. All the way back in 1958, the first languages were invented that are still in use today by some unfortunate people. COBOL, an antique among coding languages, was created by the Short Range Committee. This milestone stood side by side with a new language for algorithms, the algorithmic language. These key steps led to new innovations, including nested block structures. These structures, which were code sequences and associated declarations that could be grouped into blocks without having to be turned into separate, explicitly named procedures. With this also came lexical scoping, meaning a block could have its own private variables, procedures and functions. This was invisible to the code outside that block, which is known as information hiding, and led to a booming success over the next decade. Number 4. Establishing Fundamental Paradigms Although all the talk was about COBOL at the time, there were actually around 20 other languages developed in the same era. Flowmatic eventually led to the creation of COBOL, and CPL eventually led to the creation of C. C is by far the most widely known of the establishing paradigms, but wasn't alone during this time of its invention. Simula was also invented in the late 1960s by Nygaard and Dahi as a superset of ALGO 60. This language was the first designed to support object-oriented programming, which is fundamental to how modern programs work. Logo, B and Forth were a few of the other important languages developed at the time. In the 1970s, a debate raged on about the merits of structured programming. This basically meant eliminating the use of go-to in code. This debate wasn't a matter of opinion, but rather that some languages didn't include GoTo, which forced the programmer into structured programming. After years of debate, programmers agreed that using GoTo is just bad programming style and should be avoided in most cases. Number 5. Improving on productivity. After the boom of the previous years and no new paradigms appeared, many researchers decided to expand on what they already had and focused on improving the productivity as well as simplicity of the software. C++, TCL, Java and Python, to name a few, became the leading innovations in programming. Some of these were rapid application development languages and with those came scripting languages. These featured new syntaxes and many more features. Scripting languages eventually became the norm 
with most preferring them over RAD languages, often because of the choices that make small programs simple but large programs much harder to finish and maintain. And that was Future 5 for this week. Programming, even though it is invisible to many people, is a big part of our future now that computers are an increasingly big influence on our lives. Thank you for using those computers for watching our video. If you want to watch more, subscribe for new videos every week.